If you've ever been excited to share a video online, but the editing process kills your vibe, you're not alone. Video editing can take a long time, especially if you are trying out a new software or don't know how to edit videos. But we here at Kapwing are working to change that. Kapwing is a content creation studio where you can create your story in one place. We are constantly working to make Kapwing more robust and user-friendly so that you can make your videos in record speed and stress-free. So today I'm gonna share some of my favorite Kapwing hacks that you guys might not know, but can speed up editing dramatically. Okay, hi guys. So the first thing you're going to do is click the first link in the description. It'll take you to kapwing.com and you just want to sign in for free. And then you'll want to create a new project. And then you can just go ahead and throw in a piece of content that you have that you want to edit. I'm just going to throw in um, something like this as an example. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys are some controls and settings that you can change um, to speed up the editing process before you even start editing. So what you're gonna wanna do is go up to the settings button near the top bar here and click that. And there are a couple settings you probably want to pay attention to. So firstly, you'll wanna pay attention to ripple mode and then snapping in the timeline. As you can see, it automatically starts with ripple mode off and that makes it if you split videos and delete a portion in the middle that upon deletion, there will just be sort of a blank area in your timeline. However, when you use ripple mode, if you do delete something in the middle, it'll slide down everything and this can speed up the editing process significantly. So to do that, all you're going to do is go up to the settings and then make sure ripple mode is on. And then you can see that I can cut out sort of little pauses right here and delete this and it all slides down. And it's much quicker than deleting and having to slide everything down manually. The second thing I want to show you guys in the settings is snapping in timeline. This should be automatically turned on and that makes it so when you're dragging something um, it will automatically snap right there it moves to the clip in front of it or a clip near it and this can also work if you are layering clips you can snap to the beginnings or ends of other clips I find this really helpful especially in things like rough drafts however you are able to turn snapping and timeline off in the settings as well and then you can make more specific edits like so without getting it to snap I recommend putting on snapping for your rough draft and then turning off snapping when you want to make specific edits. Another thing I want to show you is how you can quickly move throughout your video. So you can use this little slider to get to the clips that you want. However, there is a much faster way in my opinion, and that is to use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard. So right now I'm using the downward arrow keys and it moves to the ends and the beginnings of the clips. And by using the up arrow key on the keyboard, it moves to the beginnings and ends of the clip before it. This is just a great way to really quickly scan throughout the video and find the clip that you want to find. And then the left and right arrows can move the clip frame by frame. As you can see here, I'm holding down the right arrow key and now I'm pushing the left arrow key and the left and right arrow keys are better for specific edits. Now I'm just going to share with you some shortcuts that might speed up your editing. So splitting is one of the most frequent things that you will do in a video. Now you can click the split button each time but then you have to place your marker, click the split button, replace it, click the split button and it's just not super super quick. But as you can see when you go on top of the split button you can see that there is a shortcut key which is the S button on your keyboard. Now you can just be holding the seeker and click the S button on your keyboard and keep moving, click the S button on your keyboard, keep moving, click the S button on your keyboard and keep doing that. And then I have all of these little clips that I can delete easily. So just remember that the S button on your keyboard is truly your best friend it will make splitting incredibly quick. The next thing I want to show you is how you can apply video changes to many other clips. So let's say that I went to this first clip and I changed the volume and I changed the look of it by changing the brightness and the saturation and I add a filter of some sort. But now I've only done that to one clip and to do this to other clips, to do it manually would take a long time to go back and match up the audio exactly, go in, make all the adjustments individually. It will take a long, long time. So here's what you can do. You can go back to one clip that you like and then just make your changes to that clip and then click the copy button. So you can just command C and then highlight the other clips that you want to be the same and then right click on these clips and then you will see the paste modifications button. Then you can go ahead and paste those and then when you go and scan throughout they will be exactly the same in volume, in any visual changes that you made etc. One last thing I want to show you guys is how to replace 
a video. And this can be really useful when using our templates pages. So if you find a template that you want and then you click edit this template, or even if in your own project that you have a placeholder that you want to replace with another clip or something like that, it's super easy to do so. All you have to do is click on the clip that you want to replace, right click it, and then click the replace button right there. And then you're able to replace it either by uploading your own file or by going to your media library. And then you can replace that with your video. I say this can be really helpful for templates because a lot of times templates are exactly timed to be correct with the music. As you can see here, these clips are timed perfectly, so you don't want to be messing with that. So just make sure to click one, click the replace button, and then you can replace super easily. The last thing is super easy and probably something that you would just do naturally, but we have added multi-select for text, videos, and shapes. So now you can just drag a little box around the timeline and it will highlight the things that are in the box. So now it's super easy to grab multiple files, move them around, um, and things like that. So that's a really great tool as well. All right, you guys, that is about it. Those are the hacks that a lot of people might not know about how to speed up editing in Kapwing that will make things much, much easier for you. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators. Also check out our discords. You can keep up with other Kapwingers and the Kapwing staff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.